10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good morning, South. I'm Maggie DeGaramore. And I'm Olivia Dilling. Olivia, Olivia, seriously, it's stress less day, so stress less. Just because we dress comfy doesn't mean the grind stops. Okay, but you have to at least put it away for WTV. Okay, fine, but I need to finish this AP essay, so can you start with general news? Fine. Listen up, juniors and seniors, because these next two announcements are for you. You have an opportunity to participate in the digital SAT reading test and essay for free on February 15th. If you're interested, speak to Ms. Marisich or Ms. Haney in the main office by tomorrow. If you're considering attending a community college after high school, you need to take the AccuPlacer. We're offering it next Wednesday in the library at 2. A payment of $20 is required to the ASB office. See Mr. Reichel if you have any questions. Sophomores, have you heard about Hobie? What's up, sophomores? Do you want to go to a leadership seminar for the low, low price of free? Then you should apply for the Hobie Leadership Seminar that is taking place this summer. So many sophomores have gone to Hobie, and they all loved it. I love Hobie because it's really great to get to know the people around you in your state. I learned so much about leadership, about global issues, and just how to be a better person. If you're a sophomore, I definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10, you will, it will be the best experience of your life, I promise you. So what are you waiting for? You don't want to miss this outstanding opportunity. Applications are available in the guidance office before and after school and during lunch, so go pick one up today. This is a great opportunity to get experience. Applications are available in the Career Center during lunches or after school. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're still working on this. Well, I guess you could call my essay writing skills a uh, talent. <laughs> okay. If you want to see some what real talent is, come to the talent show this Friday. There will be many talented acts, including singing, dancing, and stand-up comedy. Take a look at this video for more information about it. Mid-January is the time when our annual talent show comes around. For me, this is a special occasion. In my freshman year of high school, I performed on stage riding my unicycle, and last year I did a belly dance routine. This will be my third year participating. Hopefully, smiles will appear on all faces in the crowd. A lot of South students are more talented in their musical departments, whether it be singing, or dancing, playing an instrument, but the type of acts that I bring are slightly different and I feel that they add a bit more of um, diversity. Not everyone can ride a unicycle and not everyone knows how to belly dance. These skills take long hours of practice. I think that everybody should attend the talent show because there's always a surprise in store. It's never the same thing. Come see me and many others perform on Friday night. Tickets are $4 with ASB and 6 without. And the final rehearsal for the talent show is tonight. Everyone who's performing needs to be in the main theater at 5. Tolo is now less than a month away, but you still have time to make an appointment with the prom closet. You can call, in, you can call them at the number on the screen or by messaging them at facebook.com slash thepromcloset. Speaking of Tolo, ticket sales start next Monday and prices will start at $8 with ASP and $11 without. Ticket prices will go up every week you wait, but there will be a flash ticket sale on February 1st at $9 with ASP and $12 without. You can purchase tickets through the SKHS web store or at the ASP office during lunches or after school. PSNS is the largest employer on the Kitsap Peninsula and they're looking for entry level workers. Here's Kelly with breaking news. Hey seniors, are your post high school plans still a little bit murky? Well, you might want to consider the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard. PSNS offers excellent career opportunities with excellent benefits. And right now they have openings for the helper position, which can be a great stepping stone for bigger and better things. But you've got to hurry. The deadline to apply is Monday. For more information and for help filling out the application, see Mr. Reichel today after school in the Career Center. This is a great opportunity that you can take advantage of today. You know what really helps me de-stress? Yoga? No, going to a club. And the clubs meeting today are Bible Club, Everyone's Equality, Art, German, Journalism, Knowledgeable, DECA, Spanish, Magic and Trading Card Games, and Automotive. And the clubs meeting tomorrow are Interact and Builders of Unity. National Honor Society will meet next Monday in room 202C. 
Anyone who plans on being inducted this year must bring the completed application. In sports news, track conditioning will begin next Tuesday. Anyone interested can meet, co meet Coach Santos on the track on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2.30. An informational meeting for ladies water polo will be on January 17th at 2.15 in Stage 2. Preseason conditioning will begin the 22nd on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 9 p.m. Men's swim team needs to be released today at 1 for an away meet. Last night, the wrestling team beat Emerald Ridge at 40, 48 to 27. And then we turn around and beat Sumner 44 to 27. Great job, Wolves. Let's roll the schedule of events. If you plan on leaving tomorrow before the assembly, you need to bring a note or your parents need to call and excuse you. Notes and phone calls will not be accepted after 725 tomorrow morning. Spirit Week is this week, and today is Stress Less Day, and tomorrow is Middle School Colors. Deck out in Middle School Pride tomorrow for the pep assembly and show some spirit. We'll be sitting with our fellow middle school graduates. Cedar Heights will be sitting on the left side of the gym with the band, and Sedgwick and Marcus will be sitting on the right. Make sure to stick around to see a list of assembly alternatives. Have a relaxing day, SK.